Good morning, fellow Ambazonians. Today, na Tuesday, number 14 day for this month for February 2023. My name na Kapo Daniel. I am the Deputy Defense Chief and the Anti-Kidnapping Czar of the Ambazonian Defense Forces, the ADF, and the spokesperson of the Ambazonian Governing Council, the AG of C, aka Sense Past King, Wuna Own Countryman, Lukong. Ambazonian FBI. Wanna welcome for another episode of our daily podcast, a program where we bring una the truth, we bring una meaningful information, fact-based analysis for help we as we work out towards this journey to our freedom, to the independence of Ambazonia. Good people of Ambazonia, we come today for clarify the fake news with Cameroon government. It the use them for fight Ambazonia. In circulation for social media, the Cameroon government it then put out a video where they then kill somebody for inside the Bambalang, that location from Bambalang. They, they, you get their mixed patrol will be involved in police, gendarme, and their B will then carry out the attack. The dead body of the person, he will get Rasta, then put meth in them, plenty uh, ampullet for his body. That means say, all this uh, magic thing that they put down on top of your body, they don't take video, they send them, they claim saying that the dead body died for no pity, for some other propaganda Cameroon website, they claim saying that the small brother died for, not the brother for uh, no pity. The facts say Cameroon, it use fake information them. It means that they don't even know which way it happened. Where they go for sure, we say Cameroon, na a very weak country and we will win them. The only reason where they get success inside our land, now if they get black legs and collaborators and enablers, now why that way, for we for effectively win Cameroon government, we must stop the activities of our citizens them, where they work as enablers, black legs and collaborators to the Cameroon military. The Cameroon displayed of this dead body as the body of no pity, or his brother shows you say Cameroon it be incompetent, them be on train and it shows say the no fit win Ambazonia. I want to assure our people them say no pity is alive. His younger his brother is alive. He's alive and living well and living free in Ambazonia in our liberated area. And he they, they were not killed. I have actually spoken to his younger brother just few to his brother just few minutes before I'm making this uh, this podcast. So all of them are doing fine. The person that was killed in Bambalang is a traditional doctor who also have Rasta in his head. He's called Mission Man. They call him generally Mission Man. His names are Roderick. He's married to a boy, a, a girl who is, com- who is coming from Bui. He has two children with that lady. They are all living in Bambalang. The Cameroon occupation forces have been targeting medicine people in our land or traditional doctors because they are paranoid they are unable to defeat ambazonian fighters and they are turning with or with delusions to target medicine people or traditional uh, healers in our territory to try to stop the magic power that they think ambazonian forces have the magic power ambazonian forces have are their courage and their bravery because they are motivated by nationalism they are motivated to protect their families, their village, and their country from Cameroon occupation. They are motivated by the truth and the justness of our cause. And Cameroon will not win us by killing all traditional and medicine people in our land. They have failed. The Cameroon newspapers and Cameroon military communication with journalists are also claiming that they have killed a lot of Ambazonian fighters within the past two weeks. On the contrary, Cameroon have lost more than 40 of its personnel in Ambazonian battlefield since the president of Cameroon, the terrorist, the chief terrorist Paul Bia Bivondo, announced his Senate elections. We have multiplied our IED attacks from Boyo to Bui to the Atlantic states to Meme to Fako. Cameroon military have continually fall on the battlefield. We have used RPG attacks and Cameroon have lost eight times the people, the, the amount of soldiers and Bazunian fighters have lost. In the major city, the most populated city in Ambazonia, in Bamenda, Cameroon have lost over eight soldiers within the past one week alone. 
in multiple IED attacks in the center of Bamenda. We are defeating Cameroon. We are beating them on the battlefield. Our spirit are high. More recruitments have been made in Ambazonian forces than ever before. We lack is what we lack is guns. We don't lack fighters. While Cameroon is scrambling to recruit soldiers to replace their dead and wounded soldiers, that they continue to incur huge financial burden to sustain the war. Ambazonians' cost of fighting the war is reducing as more and more Ambazonians are taking the responsibility to support the war. Our last fundraiser was a huge success, and we will only get better and multiply our capability on the ground to defeat the Cameroon occupation. Cameroon, during this period of war, is losing more soldiers than America was losing in the past two years before it withdrew from Afghanistan or in Iraq. Cameroon cannot sustain this war and we would defeat Cameroon on the battlefield. On the side of economic sabotage, the attack against the CDC was a huge success and should send a very powerful message to the Ambazonian people who continue to work on CDC plantation to immediately stop every production or every work in the CDC. Anybody who work for CDC is doing so at their own risk. In as much as we, we call on our soldiers and every Ambazonian soldiers that are involved in implementing our rules and our laws to use proportional means when applying force and not to target civilians who are unarmed, we want to assure our people and instruct them to completely withdraw from CDC. CDC infrastructures are a legitimate target. They are sponsoring the Cameroon military occupation for us to win Cameroon and secure victory for Ambazonia and protect the livelihood of our citizens. And for us to completely defeat Cameroon, we need to not just increase the cost of occupation, we need to stop the, the exploitation of Ambazonian resources. CDC is a critical uh, component of that calculus. So every Ambazonian should stop working for CDC immediately. If you do so, you are doing so at your own risk. The killing of civilians in CDC is tragic, is unfortunate, and we have called on the soldiers to use proportional force, but this should serve as a lesson to everybody who dare to disobey our law, who dare to work for Cameroon military, to come for Cameroon government in the CDC plantation, that they should stop it immediately. Immediately. Ambazonians, soldiers, and all fighters have our 100 support to carry out attacks against CDC infrastructure, and they will continue to do so. We are appealing on the children of the CDC camps to carry out actions and burn down the entire CDC to stop Cameroon occupation and prevent our people from genocide that is being sponsored by proceed that comes from CDC. These actions should be taken immediately and will have follow-up actions in critical infrastructures on the, on the CDC subsequently. We are at war. We should know that there is no justice for the Ambazonians who were slaughtered in the CDC plantation in Ekona, in Miselele, Bebe Mata who was executed, a four-month-old baby was shot on the head by the Cameroon military with five bullets while the mother and the father fled. The mother and father were all CDC workers. They have not had justice. Mame Apie, whose family is also a family that works in the camp, a senior citizen, was burned alive in her home where she thought she would be safe. There have been no justice to her and the over 8,000 Amazonians who work and are related to workers of CDC who have been killed since the beginning of this war. Nobody will be allowed to walk over their blood for their own selfish interests. Ambazonians who have been relying on CDC for income should transit into subsistence agriculture to work in the farm and feed their family and to sell cash crop in Biafra instead of La Republic du Cameroon. We have made arrangements and the markets in Nigeria are more profitable and our people must take full advantage of that. Freedom is not free. We must all pay a price. And for our people we, that we call to obey the Monday goes down uh, stay home protest, this is our only small price we can pay for the freedom for Ambazonia. Freedom is not free. We must be willing to pay the price. 
and to carry the battle where it is necessary for our people to secure their freedom and prevent this genocide war and a war of subjugation that is being waged on our territory by the state of Cameroon. Those who collaborated with Cameroon will not be tolerated. Nobody wins a war while allowing its own people to collaborate with the enemy. Regarding the Cameroon so-called Youth Day celebration that seeks to mock our history and to mock our exercise of the right of self-determination on the 11th of February 1961, our campaign against 11 February was 100% successful. We had our entire population for the vast majority of over 90% of our territory stay at home. In Bamenda, which is the most populated city in Ambazonia, everybody stayed at home and all streets were deserted. The colonial master brought in people with buses and staged a propaganda match pass in the Bamenda grandstand that was full of people who are coming from exile. Bamenda indigents were not on the grandstand except a few people who came there out of terror and motivation from bribery and corruption. For the most part, 99% of the population in Bamenda, in Bamenda was not there. The representatives that were there are people who came in from Yaoundé, and that is true for the most part of Ambazonia. We saw match pass of children that looks at the age, that looks like children at age of kindergarten who were carrying placards to match on behalf of Cameroon government schools that are completely closed and have no school going on in Bamenda. That is to show you that it was not a credible demonstration of Cameroon celebration of youth, so-called Youth Day, but it was a sham and a scam from a government that have lost legitimacy and will seek legitimacy in any way it can. This is desperation on the side of La Republique to Cameroon. Ambazonia should see victory and understand how to recognize and celebrate the victory that they have won over Cameroon. In our territory, over 80% of our land I mean, 80% Cameroon have failed over the past year to install colonial SDOs and DOs, and they cannot govern our territory. We have made it ungovernable for them, and we have liberated our areas from Cameroon administrations, and we now have transitional authority that are filling the gap Cameroon have lost. Ambazonia is in total control of itself. We had given authorization and strict guidelines for community school that includes them not participating in 20th and in 11 February propaganda. We want to thank them for obeying our laws and our guidelines and for boycotting the Cameroon 11 February Youth Day celebration. There were some few cases of some stubborn ones and they will pay, face the consequences of their actions. They will, definitely. And we are calling on our civilians to help us identify the schools and the teachers who participated in this shame of a so-called youth day in our territory. Fellow Ambazonians, it is now time for unity. It is time for Ambazonians to come in and speak to the international community with one voice. We have had unprecedented success diplomatically. The engagement of Ambazonian diplomatic contacts have multiplied beyond our widest imagination. We are calling on all Ambazonians to come together as we come together to to, uh, to to participate in the big gathering in the All Ambazonian Conference that is scheduled for April. The details are still being worked out. Applications from applications and letters from organizations, political parties, and activists and organizations in Ground Zero and abroad are already streaming in. Ambazonians are all prepared and everybody's excited to come together so that we can speak at one. It is time to unite ourselves. It's time to come together around a common goal to help our people establish their right of self-determination. It is also time for our people to dig deep so that we can multiply our forces as we seek new recruits and our recruitment are going on on hinge. We need more support. Our people should support the resistance more than ever before and join the Ambazonian Governing Council missions that are all over the world, including in Ground Zero. Be counted. Do not be left out. God bless you all. Capo Daniel signing off.